Hi everybody. I love my Mondays because I get to spend my evenings with everybody that joins me every week. So today is going to be really fun. My name is Sandy Sandler and I'm the creator of the Bodabra Bowmaker. One of the really interesting things that I've learned now, since this is Earth Month and we have Earth Day coming up, one of the really interesting things that I've learned is that you cannot recycle ribbon and you especially can't recycle anything that has glitter because it'll ruin the entire batch of recycling. So what I want to talk about is how with the Bodabra, we don't need to recycle, we can just upcycle. So I'm going to get started making a really cute little hair bow using ribbon that um, using ribbon that we've either used in other projects or had small pieces and just could, didn't. I mean, I know all the, my crafter friends know that recycling our ribbon is, um, is something that we need to do because we save so much of it. So hi, Mano. Hi, Brenda. Okay, so I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire, fold it in half, and lay it into my Bodabra. Oh, and one more thing, guys. If you know anybody who likes to make bows or anything, please share because you're my marketing department. And I can't tell you how much it means to me when you share our videos. So now I'm going to take this first piece. I've got 13 inches. And I'm going to fold it in half, find the center, and just scrunch that in. And I've already dovetailed the ends. And just in case you're not sure how to dovetail, what I do is I fold my ribbon in half. I'm not gonna cut this, but I do cut it right on the diagonal. So this again is a one and a half inch wide ribbon by 12 inches. So I'm just gonna lay, fold it in half and lay this down into my Bodabra. Then I have a piece of the same ribbon that's 20 inches long. And again, these were just scraps of ribbon. And now I'm gonna fold this back over, take the right side of the ribbon, put it down into my Bodabra. Then I'm gonna to go to the center and just scrunch that in. And then I have another piece of the same ribbon here that's 17 inches. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take the right side of my ribbon, put it upside down and scrunch that down into my Bodabra. I'm gonna fold it back over bring it in again, take the right side, put it upside down because I want the wrong side to be on the inside of my loop. Then I'm just going to scrunch that down into my Bodabra. And then what I'm going to do is I have this piece here, which we actually had already dovetailed because we were using it in another project. But of course, I'm a hoarder when it comes to ribbon, couldn't throw it out. So I've got a 12 inch piece and we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take the right side, put it upside down, bring this around, take the right side, put it into the Bodabra, then go to the center and just scrunch everything in. Then I have these adorable little um, red roses that I just combined into a bunch by just wiring, circling the wires around. I'm just gonna lay those down into my mini Bodabra, I mean my regular Bodabra, but you could definitely make this bow in the mini. And then now I will take my Bodabra bow wire Bring it up, pull it through my slip knot, hold my white my bow in my bodabra while I'm still pulling it up. I'm gonna take it out and separate the ends, bring it around to the back, and I'm just gonna tie a knot and tie another knot. Hi, Gail and Manon and the Gail Griffin and Gail Richardson and Terry Sproul. You guys, thanks for watching. And actually, I have a really cool special coming up. I can't wait to tell you about. And also, don't forget, we're giving away a roll of our Bodabra Scrunchy Ribbon today. So make sure you say, I want to win to get to be able to win. And we'll announce that at the very end of the live. So now I'm going to just kind of shape this a little bit, bring my tails down. And I think this could be really, really pretty on a ponytail holder. And just so happens, I have one right here, or you know what, or on a headband. So you know what, I've had a lot of people ask me how I tie my um, headbands to my bows. So I'm going to just take this here and I bring it around so that I tie it on the front side of the headband and then knot it underneath 
so that it won't, and I'm going to double knot this, so that it won't um, be against like a little girl's head if she doesn't have hair. These are great gifts for little girls, especially I um, have gone to hospitals. You can see it's just a really cute little headband. It's so super easy, easy to make. Um, and so now I'm going to just take this and put it aside and we're going to make a wreath. So now, now I have this um, wreath, so we're just going to use this as a sample, um, and, but you can use any kind of wreath. And again, these are all scraps of ribbon that I couldn't throw away in a recycle bin, so it's just so much better to make a bow out of it. So I'm going to fold my wire in half, take my wire, lay it into my bodabra, and just tuck the ends underneath. And then now my first piece of um, ribbon is, let's see how long this one is. It's about 40 inches long. And I'm going to just take the right side of my ribbon, lay that into my bow. And again, this is one of our Bodabra ribbons that comes in our six pack kit. And um, then I'm gonna just scrunch this down in the middle. And then I have these big loops because they're the back of a big project. So now I have a piece of my um, gingham check ribbon and that's 24 inches. And you know, the gingham check reminds me when I was a little girl, I had a yellow gingham check wallpaper in my room. It was so fun. So I'm gonna fold this in half and then just, oh, and I've already dug, did I tell you how long this was? Oh goodness, I probably did, but then I started 24 inches. So I'm gonna fold this in half and just scrunch it down and I've already dovetailed the ends. Lay that down in there and then I just have this piece and again these are all just scraps. It's kind of just a piece of fabric that's 19 inches by 27 inches and all I'm going to do is just scrunch this into my bodabra right in the middle. Or actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do a scrunchy bow. So we're going to just scrunch this down in here. That's the fun thing is I can decide as I go. And then I have a tail here that is 16 inches long. And again, this has glitter in it, so there's no way that I can um, recycle it. So I'm just going to fold this in half and... Um, dovetail the ends by folding it in half and I'm just going to cut an angle towards the ends. And now I'm going to just take it and scrunch it with the right side up into my bodabra. Then I have another piece of the same ribbon that's 33 inches long and I'm going to take the right side and put it upside down into my bodabra. And you guys, don't forget to share and don't forget to say I want to win if you want to win the free our roll of Bodabra Scrunchy Ribbon. And now I'm going to lay my, um, this is like a peacock ribbon, and it's 16 inches, and I've already dovetailed the ends. So I just fold it in half, find the center, and just scrunch that in. So now this is the same ribbon. It's two and a half inches wide. 32 inches long and I'm going to take the right side of my ribbon and put that in first, come back around, take the right side of the ribbon, put this in and then scrunch it down. And then now I'm going to take my another piece of this same ribbon. So it's the thing is that I know you guys are just like me and have so many scraps, 13 inches of ribbon by two and a half inches wide. And now I'm just gonna, let's fold it in half, scrunch it in, and I've already dovetailed the ends. And it's just so easy to just um, take your old ribbon and repurpose it. So the other thing I've already asked you guys, but I would so approve, I measured it and I didn't even tell you how long it was. Oh, Sandy, okay, 29 inches. And again, it's two and a half, I think it's two and a half inches wide. Yes, two and a half inches wide. And I'm gonna take the right side of the ribbon, scrunch that down, 
bring it back around. Now, any of you who have seen um, what they call a terry bow, which is really like a wreath bow, this is kind of the way you would make it, the way that I'm putting the tails and graduating it in. So now I just have these tails here that I'll put in, and I have another tail here that I'll just put in. Oh, let me tell you how long these are. These are 11 inches long, and this is a one and a half inch wide ribbon. So I'm just gonna lay those in, just kind of put them in in opposite directions. And it looks like it's time for me to grab my ever elusive wand. So I'm just going to put that right there. You know, a customer gave me a really good tip for people that might lose their wands. What she does is she puts a piece of Velcro here and then a little piece of Velcro on her Bodabra and then just leaves it right there when she's not using it. And she puts the sticky side of the Velcro on the wand. So now I have, um, this is 15 inches. Again, it's two and a half inches wide. And we're just gonna lay that down in here. Then I'm gonna take this piece here that is 28 inches. So I hope you guys are getting really good idea. So here's the right side of the ribbon. I'm gonna put, oh, you need the length of this. Two and a half inches by 28 inches. So now I'm gonna put it in my Bodabra, fold it back over, and again, take the wrong side, put that in, then find my center and scrunch that in. And then I'll take this ribbon again, which is one and a half inches wide, and I have 17 inches of this, and I'm gonna just, since it's the same on both sides, I'm just going to bring this around, go down the middle and just make a loop and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. This is 15 inches long. Just put that in, bring it around, and scrunch it all in, and then scrunch that in. And then I have this really funky pick. So I'm just gonna fold that up in half, put that down in the center, and I'm gonna take my wand and scrunch everything down and don't forget, you guys, to say you want to win. So now I'm going to pull this through, hold it tight while it's still in the Bodabra, pull it out, separate the ends, and bring it around to the back. And I'm just going to tie a knot here. Now, how super, super simple is this? And let's just double knot that there. Okay. And then now put that aside and I'm going to take the wreath and this is just a little wreath I'd probably put this bow in a bigger one but I just want to give you guys the idea so I'll just tie this and I'm just going to tie it um, with a um, not as a but I'm just going to tie a bow so that it you can save it and reuse it now what we're going to be doing from now on is on every live, I'm gonna offer a different special. So in a minute, I'm gonna show you guys the special that we're offering today. So it's gonna be really cool. So I'm gonna actually do an unboxing for you. So now is this. And how many of you are new today? And if you're watching the replay, please comment and let me know. And hopefully you'll be able to join us in our live next time. So there you go, isn't that like super, super simple and so pretty with all the different colors that we used in it. So it's just a really easy bow and a great use of your scrap ribbon. So, um, oh you guys, thank you for all the love. I appreciate it, it means a lot to me. So now I'm gonna put this aside and also, um, I am going to show you what our cool special of the week is. This is what we call our ultimate hair bow kit. And this week we are gonna be giving 15% off of this and free shipping, which is really cool. So these are rolls of a gorgeous like satin ribbon. And we have eight rolls in all different colors. This all comes in this kit. So just put all these out here. And then you also get the mini Bodabra. 
and you get the Haribo Tool and Roller Cat along with it, and <laughs> you get a 100-yard roll of Bodabra Bow Wire. So, what I wanted to do is let you guys know that it's 15% off for the next couple weeks, and it's really exciting. Um, Melania, thank you so much for joining and for saying you're new. I'd love to know how you heard about Bodabra. So now I'm going to put this in here. And you guys, once again, could you please, please, please share? Because really, you guys are my marketing team here at Bodabra. And the more you share, the more it helps us out. So I'm going to put that aside. I just wanted to share that really cool special that we have. And every week I will have a new special to offer. So I'm seeing that we got a lot of wants to win. So you guys keep doing it because we will pick the winner by the end of today's show. So now I have some scraps of ribbon. Oh goodness, glitter, glitter, glitter. Again, not recyclable if you're just joining me. Anytime you have glitter, you cannot recycle. So here I have, um, let's see, we've got a yard. And then we have about 24 more inches. So I'm going to start this. And these, all of the ribbons I think in this bow are ribbons that we actually sell in our store. So now I'm going to, um, oh, Carla, thank you. Your first timer and you shared. Oh my gosh, thank you so very much. So if you guys see me looking over here, I'm looking at my iPad to see the comments. So I fold this in half and lay it down into my Bodabra. And oh, also, if you guys, if you have Bodabra, it would be so awesome if you could go and give us a review. Um, and that would be just so helpful. So I'm going to fold it in half, take the um, right side of my ribbon and put it on the, the upside down. So then I'm going to bring this around and take the right side of my ribbon again and scrunch that down into my Bodabra. And then what I'm going to do is make an X and bring, again, the right side of the ribbon is going to go down here. So now my two bows, are my two loops are basically an X. So now what I'm going to do is take the bottom loop in the center and scrunch that down and do the same thing with the top. Now, um, if you have the mini Bodabra, um, this is exactly how you make like a boutique bow. So now I've got, these are three others of our um, Bow Dabber ribbons. And honestly, I apologize. I don't know what we call them, but they are all in the store. So um, I have, let's see, I've got about a yard of each. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of them together. And this is one of the tricks with Bow Dabra is being able to put a bunch of ribbon in at the same time. So let me make sure I have all of the right sides going up. I do, okay. So now I'm gonna take all three together, just twist them and put them down into my Bodabra. And then I'm, oh, thank you guys for the love and the hearts. I love it, it makes me feel so special. And so now I'm gonna pull this over, twist it, Oh, you know what I would love um, is if you guys could give me ideas of things that you would like me to do on future um, lives if you have questions. So I'm just going to twist it, put it in, and then bring this back around here and twist it, scrunch it in, and bring it back around. And now I'm just going to scrunch it right side in. And it looks like I didn't measure these ribbons exactly the same. So I'm just going to clip the ends off that. And take my wand, scrunch everything in. And scrunch it all down. And now I am going to take this ribbon here, which I've got one yard. I think I have almost two yards of this ribbon. And, um, oh, one yard, 34 inches, so almost two yards. And so now all I'm going to do is a loopy bow. So I'm going to take the right side of my ribbon, twist it, and bring it back and make, 
The reason that I twist that is because I want the wrong side of my ribbon on the inside of my loop. Now I'm going to twist it, come back, bring it back over, twist, and that's all we're doing is just looping and twisting. So now I can look on the comments and see what you got. Who's here? JJ Flores, Edna, Carla, Melania. All you guys, thank you so much for joining me. And for those of you who shared, I really appreciate it. And we do this, if you're new, just so you know, I do these lives every single Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Central, and 7 p.m. Eastern. So I love it when you can join me live. And if you join live, you have an opportunity to win some of our Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. And sometimes we have other ribbons that we will auction off. So I'm going to bring this up here, pull it through my slip knot, hold my bow really tight down in the Bodabra, bring it out, separate the ends, bring them around to the back, and now I'm going to tie a knot and this could be really pretty tied onto a wreath or um, obviously for a beautiful present and I'm just going to just shape all this. You can see how I'm just shaping it and then what I'll do because I have the three ribbons is I'll bring these all like separate the three ribbons so you can see all three of them. And one of the things I like to do on the lives is to share new techniques with you guys um, so that you see all the different ways. Because honestly, when we first started with the Bodabra, I had no clue about everything you can do. And just in case you've missed any of our past lives, we do the re put the replays up on YouTube. So if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Bodabra Today, then you'll find those. So isn't that just like such a pretty bow and all made out of scraps. So, and this is what I love and especially celebrating Earth Month and Earth Day, which we should be doing all year round. It's wonderful to be able to show these great bows you can make with scraps. Now here's another one I'm gonna make. Let's get everything out of my way here. And I'm going to take, oh, I love the loves you guys, thank you. So now I'm gonna just fold this in half and I think in about maybe five minutes we're gonna be um, announcing our winner. So if you haven't already said you wanna win, make sure you do. So now all I've got is some scrap pieces of ribbon. And you know, I don't know if you guys know, but we actually on our website have um, like a ribbon um, mystery cat, which has tons of different ribbons in it. Um, and so now this is a, let's see how big this is here. It is a five inch wide ribbon by a 19 inch ribbon. And I've already dovetailed the ends. So I'm just gonna fold it in half, go to the center and just scrunch that into my bodabra. Then I have another piece exactly the same size. I'm gonna fold it in half and scrunch that into my bodabra. And then I have this really pretty ribbon, which is 15 inches long, and I dovetailed the ends. I'm just gonna fold it in half. And these really are just scraps of ribbon that we take and just repurpose. So now I have this tool, which is a, I believe it's a six inch wide tool. Yes, it's a six inch wide tool. And I have about, 30 inches of it, but honestly, just, you know, however much you have will still work in this bow because we're just using up scraps. So I'm just making a scrunchy bow using that. And I have another piece and this piece is six inches wide, 30 inches long. And I'm just gonna scrunch this down into my bow dabra. And this is also a great way to use your scrunchy ribbon to make a scrunchy bow. Um, and we do have the scrunchie ribbon in our Bodabra store. And now I have another piece of our Bodabra Gingham Check Purple Ribbon. And this is 21 inches and I believe it's two and a half inches wide. So I'm just gonna take the right side of my ribbon and put that down into my Bodabra, bring it back around 
take the other side, scrunch that in, go to the center, scrunch it in there. And then I'm going to take my wand, push it down, then pull this up here, pull it through my bodabra, and pull this out, separate my ends, bring them around to the back, and I'll just tie a knot. That's one of the cool things with the bodabra bow wire is that it's so easy to just tie a knot. Then you could tie this onto obviously a present and I'm just gonna bring all my tool around and shape this out, move this up. And I'm actually gonna do something kind of funky in the middle here. And there you have this really cute, super, super simple to make bow. So it's just so, so easy. Um, and now I'm going to do one final bow and I believe that we are going to have a winter really soon. So now, I'm, I know, you know, before I start this, I wanna thank you guys so much, not just for joining me, but for buying Bodabra, for buying from the bodabra.com website and just treating me like I'm, you know, like you guys are a part of my family and I love it. So we're gonna go with this last bow right now and I'm going to make a little hair bow using my mini Bodabra. And don't forget about the mini Bodabra um, ultimate kit that it is a really special deal. Be a great gift for Mother's Day. Fold this in half or even for Easter. And because we do ship it out, free priority shipping. So now, I'm gonna take my um, gingham check, a ging well, it's sort of a plaid, and there's 12 inches, and I believe this is a one and a half inch wide ribbon. So I'm gonna take the right side of my ribbon, put the right side upside down, and bring that back over, and scrunch that in, and then go to the center and just scrunch that in. Then I'm going to take another piece, and I believe this is the same size, one and a half inches by 12 inches. But since we're using scraps, I kind of don't know 100%. So I'm just going to scrunch that in, bring it around, scrunch it in here, and scrunch it there in the middle. And then I have this really pretty piece of tool that is 14 inches long and three inches wide. And all I'm gonna do is make a little scrunchy bow in the middle. So this is all so super, super easy. Scrunch that down and give everything a good push. Pull it up, pull it through my slip. Oh, almost forgot, sorry, not done yet. Bring that back down there. I forgot, I have these cute little curly Q corker ribbons and I'm just gonna lay these down in here and lay the greens in and lay one more. And now I'm gonna scrunch everything down with my wand and bring this up here. Pull this through the slip knot, pull it tight while it's still in my mini bodabra, take it out, bring it out here, bring it around. And this will make such a pretty, these colors will make such a pretty spring hair bow. I'm just gonna tie this, tie a knot, and then I'm gonna take my ponytail holder, which matches, and I think I told you guys that I bought, there were a hundred of different colored ponytail holders that I bought at Dollar Tree for a dollar. So that's a really good deal. And I bought them um, about a week ago, I think. And just give it one more knot. And then I'm gonna clip the wire really close <clears throat> to my ponytail holder. And now I'm gonna just bring this up here, bring this around, scrunch this, bring the, whoops, I'm sorry, I'm doing it not towards the camera. I do that sometimes because I forget, I have to show you guys what I'm doing. And there you have a really adorable, but how super simple, made in about a minute, hair bow, so, or ponytail holder. So anyway, thank you again. Thanks everybody who shared the video and thank you to everybody that has liked my Bodabra page 
and written reviews on the Bodabra. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.